Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome again, new episode on how to. Today we're going to talk about PF sensors again and I'm going to show you how to port forward to a server. As you can see here, I've already started my PF Sense server and my CentOS web panel, as you can see here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to port forward the one IP from PF Sense to the WCWP7 uh, IP that is going to host the domain name pfsense.local. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you can get notified on new tutorials. All right, now we are in PFSense and uh, as you can see here, uh, we got the IP for one and the IP for LAN. We are connected through the LAN to this uh, GUI, graphic interface, as you can see here. And what we need to do is we need to route this IP here to the IP to the web server. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on uh, the IP so you can see that it will be an error. While it's loading, I'm going to show you the website I'm using for this tutorial. And it's hosted on the IP 192.168.134. And as you can see, the actual site is unreachable. For this tutorial, I'm using a local domain and also using a local DNS record, as you can see here. So the actual domain pfsense local redirects to 234. We're going to change that and we're going to use the new IP. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to delete and I'm going to create a new one with the new IP. That is the IP of the one address of the pfsense. And as you can see, it has been created. So now that the DNS record has been set and we've seen that the actual domain doesn't resolute, we're going to use this account and we go back to our PFSense page and we're going to start the most important part of it. We're going to create a NAT port forward. Okay, so this is the port forward that once created is automatically going to also create a rule for the actual one. Right, so let's go back and let's create the actual entry. I'm going to press add. And interface, of course, we're going to use is one. The protocol we're going to use is TCP. The destination, I'm going to use any. The port I want to forward is port 80. Of course, you can have other and manually add the port number, in this case 80, or you can actually use, as I showed you earlier on there, a pre-made entry. The redirecting IP, as I said earlier on, is going to be the IP of the web CWP, finish with 234, and I'm going to paste it here. The redirect page uh, target port is going to be exactly the same, port 80. Now I'm going to write a little description so I know exactly what it is. PF sends local redirect. For the rest, I'm going to leave as it is. Once finished, I'm going to press save. As you can see there, the rule is automatically associated once has been created by the filter rule. I'm going to press apply, otherwise it won't work. We go back to firewall top and we're going to press rules. So as you can see here, the actual rule has been created. I'm going to press edit. So you actually can see inside what it looks like as that was automatically created. We're going back to the main page. And now PF sense local, once I press enter, should automatically sent to the website as you can see here so thanks again for watching my tutorials don't forget to like subscribe my videos and i'll see you next tutorial